<laughs> I love this wig and I have been, I, you know, I was digging through some of the old, this is actually a derby. I got this during the, uh, the Kentucky Derby. There was, they always have what's called a thunder over Louisville that happens like the week before. And so you have hats and wigs and all kinds of fun, fun stuff. And I found this and I thought, oh my God, I got to put it on because it's my purple fix. So I, you know, I could do the jellyfish, you know, I'll be inspired by Nicole Kidman to do the jellyfish hair. There's a, I think there's another singer that does the jellyfish hair too. But anyway, happy Friday, everybody. I'm also channeling my uh, fifth element uh, with, you know, not quite Lilu. I'm a little backwards, but I kind of have that vibe going on. But anyway, I just wanted to pop on here and let you know that I haven't done anything yet. Well, actually, that's not true. I did do something. Um, I guinea pigged my child. So I went ahead and she's been wanting to do it. And now she's in, um, in a school where she's allowed to color her hair. So she, I had her do two money strips and then I did the bottom part. And I wanted to see how long it would last on natural hair. So I uh, did that on, I think she had one night sleepover and it was fine. And then she went swimming the next day and she was, we swam for, I mean, we swam for a while. So we were probably in the water a few hours and you know, kids, they're always, you know, mermaiding and everything. So, um, and it was pretty much gone. It was pretty much out of her hair. And she was like really sad because she was going on a camp out with her friends on Saturday morning and by Friday night, it was pretty much, she couldn't even see anything, even on the uh, the other little mini streaks. So even though we got more jellyfish than we do mermaid, I did decide, you know what, I'm gonna take this off. I did decide to do a little piece as a test strip. And so I thought I would come in here. And so what I did, you can see it right here. And this is, I put it on for like 10 minutes and then I washed it out with, with uh, shampoo. So I wanted to get a little bit of the white part and a little bit of this other part. And I mean, you can see a little bit. I kind of do, I mean, the, the sun is kind of bright right here. Probably should have done this a little bit earlier, but it is what it is. So, but you can kind of see the difference of this coolness versus this more brassy stuff here. And so I kind of, I, you know, I kind of dig it actually. So I thought what I would do, but my concern was, is I didn't want it to break off or anything on this part that's like super light. So, I mean, I feel like, I mean, if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't have noticed it, but I do think I might just do the very tippy tip ends, but I do want to find maybe a better product because I don't think that that one has, yes, it's whatever vegan on all the good things that it says it, it, it is. It doesn't have all the conditioning properties and a lot of the overtone and the other stuff that I've heard, it just smells like way better, not like a marker, a great marker, which I do have a weird affinity for, but I don't necessarily want to put it in my hair. I did think that it did really good with my child though. I think it, you know, it worked. I could see a little bit of a fade, tiny, tiny, tiny on her money streaks. But then after she like washed her hair, I mean, you're talking, she put it, we put it on, she rinsed it out and then she um, had, you know, she slept in it and then she went swimming. So again, no soap or anything and it came out pretty good. So after the first uh, actual wash, it totally came out. I actually did it again on Thursday night so that she could have it for the weekend to see how, you know, so it was short lived, which is exactly what I was looking for. But the caveat is, is that her hair is all natural. I mean, she did do a little bit of, she's kind of going through that sun and kick where she wants it. Her hair is not as dark as mine was um, naturally when I was a child. But uh, she's going through that phase where she wants to try to lighten it up. And so she did some sun in. So it did actually have a little bit of a gold, you know how that sun in does. But she's digging it. And so it does, it was a little bit lighter than her normal brown. And so it wasn't totally natural hair. 
but basically yeah so I was really impressed with actually how it worked so I thought well I'll try this little piece see how it looks like in the light and I don't know I mean this lighting isn't the best right now because it's it really is like beaming in on this side and kind of probably need to move the car but I wanted to just pop on here and just let you know that I didn't do anything yet other than like a little test strip and that um I am still gonna I do still want to do something though I um I think I'm gonna get the uh the chalk or there's like a uh, wax is anybody I was looking at some stuff in the hair wax uh, I didn't hear anybody say anything in the comments about hair wax. So if you've used hair wax, I'm wondering if that will stay and definitely not um, deposit into the hair. So that might be something and then, but I don't know, it might be super messy and get all over your, because you know, with, when you have the long hair, I just feel like those sprays or the wax, they're just going to get over, they're going to get all over anything that you're wearing. So it's going to be all down your back. It's going to be on your arm. So that was my, I guess, the reason why I kind of liked this, whenever this uh, punky stuff. So I don't know, you know, and then I put this wig on and I think, geez, this is kind of fun, right? I love wigs. Oh, here, put my hair back. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief update to let you know that I have not done anything too, uh, too impulsive yet, other than to get my wig on and get ready for some happy hour and some weekend extravaganza. I have, um, I think I'm going to get a makeup lesson this weekend, which I'm pretty excited about if it all works out. Um, yeah, it's cute, huh? I don't know. The problem is, is my hair isn't this thick to wear it like this, but I don't know, I kind of dig it. I got a lot of wigs actually. I kind of dig them. So anyway, um, hopefully I will get a makeup lesson and I will give you an update on that. But he is an award-winning makeup artist and he happens to live in my complex. And so hopefully he can kind of give me some heads up on, you know, I, was, I just kind of wanted to know some better colors that he could, rec rep, you know, help me pick out. And um, yeah, and different techniques that I can use on you know, my old ass eyes. So anyway, I hope everybody has an awesome weekend and I will keep you posted. But so I'm either going to get the wax or I'm going to get something that's a little bit more conditioning and I'm going to do just the tips. So just the tips. You guys have a great, great weekend and I will see you on in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.